This intercession is taking place at Colleg Triveca, the what used to be the Calvinistic Methodist College, and the home of Harold Harris. In 1752, Harris, one of the foremost leaders of the Welsh Methodist revival, established a Christian community here known as uh, Triveca in, uh, in Mid Wales. And also in this area, in 1762, Selina, Countess of Huntington, established a theological seminary nearby, following the expulsion from St Edmund Hall, Oxford, early that year of six Anglican students because of their alleged Methodist leanings. So it's a place of where we can be so thankful to God, in an area where we can be thankful for God. That has been associated with two of the outstanding people uh, in a, at a time when God moved in such wonderful ways. And the scriptures to be used are, oh, first of all, from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 31 to 33, inclusive. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken, where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Then from Hebrews, chapter 4, and the 12th verse. For the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. O oh God, in this place which is currently now a conference centre, a place where people can come and on retreat, but yet in the past was one which thy servant Howell Harris, a man who was greatly used of thyself, And being greatly used of thyself in, the, in that wonderful move of thy spirit in the, in the 1700s. It is with such a thankful heart and a worshipping heart that you chose ones like Howell Harris and Selina, Countess of, of Huntington, to come to be in this area and to be ones who established the praise, the honour and the glory of yourself in this area. And Howell Harris, yes, mightily used in the preaching of the Gospel, and mightily used in setting up a community for those who, who would be set aside for thyself. Those who would not just know the, the word of God and the great truths of the doctrines of the word of God, but also within their hearts and, and lives 
would have that experience of the living God within them. That experience, not just what the Word says, but would know the living Christ, having been regenerated, having been born again, and having received the very fullness of God within their hearts. And it is these dear ones who established along with others at that time period that took the word of God in its, in its power and do what it was to pray, to pray down the blessing of God, to pray down the convicting conviction of the Holy Ghost upon their hearers. And they knew what it was to, to give their whole hearts, their whole lives, their whole beings for God to use, for you to use them for thy glory and for the extension of thy kingdom. And it was at that very special time in, in Wales, along, along with, with others, that you, you moved and did a work, a work which, which was for, oh, for thy glory and for thy glory alone. And I thank thee for what you did then. And I call upon thee that in this place, which, yes, is being used in thy service. And I thank thee for that, for its current usage. But I ask thee too for the restoration of that which sought thy glory in the past. These days, where is that which seeks thy glory? But thy word is full of thy promises, thy covenant promises, and the words of the Lord Jesus to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Wales has, in the past, had the gospel. These days, what is it? Possibly hardly, is it 1%? Possibly? of those who are born again in Wales. A great, great tragedy that most of, of that fervency, that zeal for thyself has gone. And either there is none, no Christianity or little Christianity. And that which is left is quite often of the other Jesus and of the other spirit, rather than of the Jesus of redemption and the atoning blood. And rather is not of the Holy Spirit, it is of another spirit, which is of the spirit of Lucifer. And I call upon thee for the move of the Holy Ghost to come and come down like he did in those days in the 1700s where men like Daniel Rowland, along with Harold Harris, George Whitfield, greatly preached thy word and taught thy word to thy glory. Restore it, Lord, for thy glory and thy glory alone. For this is speaking as Jesus, before thy throne. Amen.